Okay, we're out here at a track in Bitlow. Um, Nancy's uh, the one that's been building up this track. Actually, there's another track over there that's all for his racing dirt, and so you just got the clay in it and all that kind of stuff. But this is where I kind of enjoy running my stuff. Now you'll probably hear the radio because uh, I still got my redneck um, camera mount here. A little bit of double stick, uh, 100 mile an hour tape on the radio itself. Well, not good. Come on, baby, you can do it. Uh, the hurricane took out this section. It used to go from here all the way up to the tree and around and back down. Um, here's some of the panels. I just stuck them on the ground today just to give us a little bit more to run with. Now this is a really steep and I almost lose it every single time trying to get down here. Oh! Can he save it? Oh! <laughs> almost. <laughs> When I originally did it, I actually made it. You gotta get your tire right in there. And bring it back around. Oh! Oh. Alright, third time's a charm. <laughs> oh man. Well, I figure it's the first couple times I did this, I came down all right. Of course, we can't go up this way because it's so steep. There's just no way. I wonder if we move this board over a little bit more. Try that. And we're not trying to make it totally impossible, just a little bit. Okay, that's that's a little better. There's not too much problems with the Wraith with the 2.2s. Seems to do pretty good on this. Yeah, figures. <laughs> there we go, now we got in the groove. We need to get somebody else to do the filming. So I can concentrate on where the camera's pointed or where I'm driving instead of where the camera's pointing. Alright, we added some here. Because I kept on trying to get I kept on getting stuck coming off that bridge. <coughs> it still doesn't help that much.
Now I did upgrade this truck. I made the, you can see the aluminum connecting right up front. And then I also swapped out the engine, the, the original 20T to a 25T. It's done huge difference. Gotta pull a mulligan on that one. Oh, the axle got caught right down in there. No wonder we couldn't get anywhere. <laughs> Wheel placement is definitely something you gotta keep in mind when you're running up this course. And these are stock, the stock tires that come with the Wraith. It's a Wraith Poison Spider, actually, that I bought. And then I, you know, got bored with the plastic kit that came with it, so threw a couple panels on it. Haven't decided whether I'm going to paint it. I might just leave it that and maybe polish it. Give it a different kind of look. Now this one here, we've had problems with. Kids had come over. Vandalized it broke the this is was a seesaw that would actually lift up and down and it would meet down there a lot So that you can come off the, um, the off canter Bridge and right onto it. Now, I have made it earlier. We'll see if we can try to do it one more time Nope. We're going to fix this one up. Try to get a whole pile of people out here one day. Nancy said if we fix it up, she's going to keep it. Otherwise, she's going to get rid of it. And I'm like, oh, come on. We love to crawl. And it's not that hard. It looks difficult, but you got two different sizes, I guess, for the people with 1.55 tires and 1.9 and 2. Now this section here, I've always had a problem getting up it. Because I always come, I guess, the wrong way. So let's try going over this off camber. Because I'm not lined up for it perfectly yet. Oh, good, good call. Yeah, I'm getting good. <laughs> Alright, I'm a legend in my own mind. Now all these rocks are muddy field rocks. 
actually, you can't really get a purchase on them. Great, I'm no better than when I came up the other side. Here we go. do that. Let's see if we can get over here on this dry rock. Maybe that'll help us out. Not much. Oh. Hung up right on the... Whoa! <laughs> oh, this ain't good. Well, that kind of sucks. Sometimes you just got to power out of it, right? There we go. We got some cool um, obstacles out here. Most of it just needs to be um, maintained right now. But with the season, the racing season coming up on the main dirt track, um, Nancy just doesn't have time to be doing this. But if we can get enough people interested in it, I think we can get this track back to its glory and even better. This is where I almost always turtle up here. I have no idea how I can get over this without... Oh! Hey, we almost made it that time. There's all kinds of boards that are just screwed in by one screw so they can move back and forth, which is great for obstacles. And this is the Roadrunner. I don't know where the names come from, I never asked her. Beautiful day here in Florida for uh, getting out and bringing the trucks out. Whoa! Now there's rocks inside the tunnel. I don't know if you can see them, but they end up kicking you around when you're coming through.
Now this one's got a log right at the end of it. I got stuck in there sideways somehow because I wasn't paying attention. up right on that branch. And it's kind of cool because all this stuff can move. So you got to kind of watch where you uh, <laughs> where you go here. Ah, shoot. We got this branch right here. It's getting caught in the frame. <clears throat> Let's try that again. I know we get it. There we go. And you definitely have to put a spring on this to keep it get it to come down. There we go. That should be a point right there. 